the Xbox development tool beta version, otherwise known as the DVT3, isn't entirely unseen, as it was included in the big debug video that I did ages ago. But with as rare as it is, I thought some higher quality video was necessary. But first, let me remind you of our Patreon campaign. Preserving this hardware is tough work, if it can even be found. I need your help to take the channel to the next level. Your support through Patreon means that we can rescue more hardware and software from private collectors or even the trash bin. It also helps maintain what is already rescued. Your help gives me some wiggle room and allows me to obtain things that might be just out of reach. For that, I thank all current supporters and look forward to hearing from others out there who are interested in the world of game preservation. As you might expect, the DVT-3 was put into use immediately following the end of the Alpha era, which ended in May 2001. From June through August 2001, these kits were used to move from the PC-based Alpha 1 and 2 towers to something that resembled the final console. During August 2001, final development tools began to arrive, which would then be used throughout the rest of the console's life. Unlike the full development tool version, which you'll see shortly, the one on screen right now is actually a debug kit. Despite not coming in the green case that most later debug kits came in, they are functionally pretty similar as the debug version of the DVT-3 lacks the expansion cards of the full development tool. In other words, it was cheaper to deploy these for artists and other members of the development team that did not need the advanced debugging functionality. Even though it was cheaper, I have never seen another debug kit version of the DVT-3. I have two full DVT-3 tools other than this, which you can see, and I owned another in the past, but never another debug kit. While I have no doubt that there are others out there, I would imagine that very, very few survived. As you can see here, the full development tool has the expansion cards in place, along with a different sticker on the bottom of the console showing that there is a difference between the models. The USB style port is unblocked on DVT3 hardware, while most final development tools have this port blocked. What makes a beta development kit different than the final kits that would follow? For one, the DVT-3 has a nice shiny metal jewel, which was apparently dropped for aesthetic purposes according to Marco Micheletti, who is the global procurement and manufacturing manager of the original Xbox hardware. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, Marco. Internally, the Xbox Media Communications Processor, or the MCPX, was an earlier revision, as I imagine many parts were. These small hardware differences, along with unfinished software, means that retail compiled software usually does not function on the DVT-3, making them far less useful to both collectors and developers. While the earliest revision of the beta software launched with the fireworks intro seen earlier on alpha kits, over time the DVT-3 gained the more familiar flubber, starting first with the animation, although the Microsoft text would appear green, followed by the sound being added by July 2001. The earlier hardware also posed another problem, reliability issues. Not only were the chips unfinished, but manufacturing hadn't quite nailed things down. Because of this, the DVT-3 kits were forced to lower clock speeds. The CPU ran at 715 MHz as opposed to the 733 MHz with a retail setup, along with the GPU running at just 210 MHz instead of 233 MHz. Why do so few of these exist? It's simple, they were basically paperweights by the end of their life. Well, Microsoft wanted them back and they were likely destroyed. Some didn't make it back, which is why these exist, but many did, limiting the amount of these in the wild. That wraps up this special look at the DVT-3 beta development hardware for the Xbox. In the future, we'll take a look at some alpha hardware and even some strange variations among the retail version. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching.